Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a world border onto your Minecraft world. This can be for a server or a single player world, they both work absolutely fine. You will need at least Minecraft 1.8 for this, and if you have anything above that, you'll be absolutely fine. So first, let's explain a world border. So this is a world border. It spawns at the 0, zero coordinates in your world, and you cannot go through it. As you see, I'm bumping straight into it, I cannot go through it. You can also not break anything through it, you cannot place anything through it, you cannot attack anything through it. You cannot do anything through the world border. And today, I'm going to show you how you can make your own. Anyway, let's get into it. So as you can see, I've got my world border here, and it's pretty small, right? So, the first command is going to be set. So you're going to want to do slash world border set and then how big you want it so for example i'm gonna say 100 blocks there we go and now from this point to this point is 100 blocks it is not 100 blocks each side from the center it is from here to there 100 blocks and also here to there 100 blocks as it is a perfect square if you do want to go ahead and add onto it you can do slash world border add and then the amount of blocks you want to add. However, as it is affecting both sides, you do have to double the amount. So for example, I want to move one block on this side. However, I'll have to put two to be able to move one block as it will do one on each side. So there we go, it has moved one block and it's also moved one block on this side as well. You can also make it smaller by doing slash world border, add, and then minus the number you want to do. So for example, minus four would take away two from each side. So now every single one of these, this one, this one, this one, and this one are all two blocks closer towards zero, zero. This will only spawn at your zero, zero coordinate. You cannot move it. So if you are planning to make, uh, for example, a 100 by 100 world, then make sure you are starting from zero, zero. As I think it would be quite difficult if you're thousands of blocks away to get back to the center of the world or if you do want a quick teleport you can just do slash tp zero one hundred zero and it will spawn you in the air a hundred blocks up at zero zero of course you can extend this to however wide you want you can also make it not set to that amount instantly. I'll show you what I mean if I did say it a bit confusingly then. So you can do slash world border, add, and then the amount you want to add onto it. So for example, I'll do uh, 100. And then the time will be how long it takes to add 100. So for example, I could do 20 seconds. And as you can see, it is slowly moving and it will take 20 seconds to extend 100 blocks on each side. So as you can see, it is going by itself now. And there we go, it has now reached the new border. You can also make it, so if the world border is closing in, it, it damages you. This is obviously useful in things like battle royales, where obviously the border is coming in and you have to escape it. So we have to do slash world border damage amount, and then the amount of damage you want to take every second. So we can go ahead and do, for example, one. And as you can see, it has set the world border damage to one per block each second. So now if we make our game mode survival, so if we do slash world border, add minus 30, and we'll give it 20 seconds. As you can see, the world border is now red and it is closing in on us. And then once it goes past us, every block that it goes past us, we should start taking damage. There we go, we are now taking one damage every second. Now this does differ on how far away you are. So as you see, for these two blocks, for the first three-ish blocks, four, five. Yet yeah, once you pass the fifth block, you do start taking damage. So you do have a little bit of space. And of course, you can just run back through, but you cannot run back out. So let's do that again. As you see, the world border has turned red. 
And it's going past us. And we can just go here this time. And there we go. It has killed me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully it did help you out. And hopefully it has made you understand a bit more about world borders. And also how to set up your own. As I said, this can be done on servers and also in single player worlds. As long as it is above 1.8. There is no modding or plugins needed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.